We're back with our Nerd vs. Veteran Battle. We are one week away from the finish line and it looks like taking Delphi might be difficult for either side. Of course, as mentioned at the beginning of the campaign, should neither side take Delphi, whichever faction finishes with more cities occupied will be crowned the winner. Next week we'll finally see after nearly eight weeks of hard times, planning, efforts, diplomacy, strategy, who will ultimately reign supreme. From the data gathered between November 25th through December 3rd, it looks like 1st Vet Division is holding a solid lead with an astounding 681,900 influence at level 38. They've leveled up a level in one week, taken 12 cities, four of which were level 8 cities. Nerd have moved up a level to level 36 this past week as well, with 374,380 influence and taken five cities. For PvP battles, Nerd still has an edge over First Vet Division, with a total of nearly 30.9 million enemy kills, while First Vet Division comes in at 30.6 million enemy kills. Let's give a little love to the other Nerd and Veteran alliances. The Nerd Alliances came in at 160,690 influence this past week, while Veteran Alliances racked up 161,450 influence. We wanted to catch up with both the Vets and the Nerds to see how they felt things were progressing on this server. A leader from the 1st Vet Division shared this with us. We failed our first attempt on a level 9 city, Olympus. We believe this is due to lack of participation and members not being at the appropriate levels based on time played. We're in the lead, so a lot of folks are getting comfortable. This week's focus, now that we are in the center region of Thessaly, our focus is growth within our players in preparation for Delphi. A former leader who left the vet spoke to us about how he feels about where the competition is going and how it got here. Since I was part of the planning from the very beginning with the veterans, I know that our plan initially was not to worry about being ready for Delphi, but instead quickly grow with cities and personal growth that competition would indeed not even be a contest. This plan did well since a lot of the vet players are trained well. We will continue to fight and try to move towards the goal. Day 7. Accumulate wealth, summon the powerful. So far the tips have been focused on how you can occupy land. While you can get resources when you occupy land, what about gyro? Where do you get your gyro? Or what do you need to exchange for a gyro? Summon. You can differentiate the different card packs from the lower right corner of the summon page. Summon high order gyro. Need 200 gems for each summon or 950 gems for five summons. You will get one free summon every 12 hours and 50% off the cost of a summon after each free summon. This is one way to get powerful cards. Gyro. Need 300 coins for each summon or 2,850 coins for 10 summons. This is your main source of skill experience. Titan 1, Gyro 1, Olympus 1. You need to use more coins to summon here, but you have a higher chance of getting a rare Gyro. You can dismantle rare Gyro to obtain skills and learn new skills. In addition to the above Gyro card packs, the system will launch more card packs with different content and make these available as the game progresses. Introduction to Barbarian Camp. At this time, you will definitely feel the strain of not having sufficient skill experience to level up the Gyro and drawing an uncommon card will require lots of coins. So, where can you earn these coins? When the game has progressed to a certain degree between 1800 hours every Saturday to 1800 hours on Sunday, the Barbarian Camp will appear on the map. If you attack the Barbarian Camp and win, you can expect to get a lot of coins. But first, please make sure that you can defeat the camp before you even try. As shown, the strength of the Barbarian Camp is the same as that of a level 5 land, and you can attack this camp three times for coins. Level 5 land and scouts. For level 5 land, it's recommended to send two troops at once. Let the first troop have a draw in battle with soldiers of at least 6,000, and then join the second troop with soldiers of at least 2,500 within five minutes to raise your chance of victory. For more information on suggested soldiers for higher level land occupation, you can find them in Help, Game Wiki, and then Land Soldiers. To raise your chances, also use a scout team to first work out the configuration of the guards so you can identify the right combinations for your troops to counter these guards. What is a scout team? Whenever a new gyro is assigned to the troops, the system will issue a basic group of 100 additional soldiers. In addition, when all your soldiers are wiped out in attack, you can return to the main city and the system will replenish another 100 soldiers for you. You can make use of these two points to form a disposable but practical scout team. That's all for now. I'll be seeing you guys next week for our final battle update.